Renal Replacement Therapy Options Hemodialysis is the process of cleaning the patient's blood outside the body. The blood is rooted through a dialyzer to clean it and is then returned to the patient. The process is controlled by a hemodialysis machine which, amongst other things, pumps the blood and dialysis fluid around the circuit, adds in an anticoagulant, removes excess fluid, and regulates the entire cleaning process. The dialyzer comprises a large number of capillary-sized hollow fibers. To remove the toxins, a special dialysis fluid is added into the filter and bathes the fibers. The blood flows into the fibers. Metabolic toxins, urea, and other small particles pass through the membrane of the hollow fibers and are thus filtered out of the blood. By contrast, vital substances and blood cells are held back due to the small size of the pores. At the same time, excess fluid is removed from the patient's body. The transfer of metabolic toxins through the membrane into the dialysate is based in part on the principle of diffusion. So what form does the treatment take? Hemodialysis is usually carried out in a dialysis center. Patients first undergo an operation to implant a shunt between an artery and a vein in the lower arm, which provides access to their blood. Hemodialysis is usually performed three times a week and takes three to six hours. Modern hollow fiber dialyzers have greatly improved the efficiency of the treatment. Thanks to industrial production techniques, it is now possible to manufacture dialyzers that exhibit high cleaning performance in large numbers. State-of-the-art dialysis machines monitor patients to ensure critical conditions can be detected and treated at an early stage. Fresenius Medical Care – Creating a Future Worth Living